गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल सो हेयर वी आर इन एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड टू आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू हाउ टू राइट द नंबर इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इन टू इट्स यूजल फॉर्म सो योर नेक्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन थ्री फोर फाइव अगेन आर बेस्ड अपॉन द सेम कंसेप्ट लाइक यू सी इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एक्सप्रेस द नंबर अपेयरिंग इन द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म सो हेयर इट इज वन एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग One angstrom is given equal to. If you see that is one upon you count the ending zero somewhere you are getting ten raised to power ten. So there it is one after the decimal. If you will put ending zero, if you put ending zero after the decimal, there is no significance in mathematics. Remember this. So it will remain one only. But if you shift this to the numerator, that will become power will become negative. So this will be the standard form. One in strong unit is equal to what? One into ten to the power minus ten. That is in liters. So that is the line. That is the first part of question B. Then the second part is you have to write size of WBC. That is white blood corpuscle cell. Uh, it is given equal to zero point zero zero one two three four meters. So zero point zero zero. This is Three times zero, and then it is one, two, three, four meters. One, two, three, four meters, and you have to write it in the form of what? Standard form. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven digits are there. So how many zeros will be there in the denominator? Definitely seven. So I can write ten to the power seven. And yesterday I told you to write in the standard form. You need to put the decimal here. So that before the decimal, one digit will be left. So how many zeros I need to put that decimal here? One, two, three. So out of seven, one, two, three. If you will take three zeros, so how many zeros left out of seven? If you will subtract three, so three plus four. I have split it seven in terms of three and four. That will solve my purpose. One, two, three, four upon one thousand. And if you will shift this to the numerator. Ten to the power minus four. So then you can put the decimal here. One, two, three. Three digits. One point two three four into ten to the power minus four. That is in um, the answer is in meters. So you will put answer in meters. So one WC WBC cell size is equal to one point two three into ten to the power minus four meter. So I hope that is clear to all. So I just counted the number of digits. Those many zeros I put in the denominator. I have put the decimal here because the condition to write the standard form, one digit we have to leave before the decimal. So put that digit. I need three zeros in the denominator. So out of seven, I have taken three zeros. So four left. Four I have shifted and four I have shifted to the numerator. So then the power will become minus. Then your uh, third part for the same is now you need to write. Uh, the thickness of a wood block is three one two point three four. Three one two point three four. This you have to write. Uh, that is in millimeters. So you have to write in standard form. So standard form means three one two three four. Here it is hundred. How many zeros I need here? One two three four. Four two already are there. So I need two more zeros in that denominator. So I have to multiply the denominator by 100. So yesterday I told you if you have multiplied the denominator by 100, you need to multiply the numerator also by 100. So now 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros will be there. That will solve my purpose. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can write 3.1234 into how many zeros? 10 to the power 2. That will be in. Millimeters. So this will be the standard form for your third part. Then fourth part is the diameter of the sun. In fourth part, if you see fifteen, and then see the ending zeros are there, eight ending zeros are there. So you can express in ten to the power eight. Now you need to put one digit before the decimal. That is one point five. So to make it one point five, I need one zero in the denominator. So one zero in the denominator means I have to divide by ten. So multiply also by ten. What you have done in the denominator, same thing you have to do in the numerator. So I have 
divided by 10, so I have to multiply by 10 also. So that again will solve my purpose. Now 15 upon 10, I can write 1.5 and 8 plus 1 will make it 10 raised to the power 9. So those 20 meters will be there. So these are all the four uh, parts in your question number 3 which I have converted into standard form and I am following the same procedure to write these standard forms. Now see your question number 4. In question number 4 you can see Question number 4 is the mass of the earth is 6.87 into 10 raised to 24 and the mass of electron is 9.31 uh, into 10 to the 31 which is greater and 1. So one side you take earth and one side you take electron and let us compare the two standard forms. So if you take earth that is given equal to what 6.87 uh, into it is 10 raised to the power 24. So if you will convert it into its usual form, somewhere it is 687 upon 100 into 10 raised to the power 24. So 687, 687 into 10 raised to the power 24 will be there or 24 and 10 zeros will be there with 687. Sorry, 22 zeros. And when this 100 will be shifted to the numerator, 2 will get minus. So 68722. And if you see from the electron point of view, here it is 9.3 into 10 raised to power minus 31. So this is 931 upon 100. 931 upon 100 into 10 raised to power minus 31. So 931 into 10 raised to power minus 29. So this you can compare. Now you can say mass of earth is positive and mass of electron you can see now is negative. Is negative. That is coming in minus. So mass of earth is greater than that of your mass of electron because one is positive so positive is always greater than that of negative so I have written the usual forms so that is positive that is coming negative so hence mass of earth is greater than that of mass of electron so in that way you can just give the reason for your answer then your last question number 5 somewhere is A bag contains 100 A4 sheets. The weight of one sheet A4 sheet is 0 0.01 milligram and weight of bag empty bag is 600.50 gram. Find the weight of the bag along with the A4 sheets. Okay, number of sheets in the bag. Number of sheets in the bag are 100. Mass of one sheet is equal to that is given 0 0.01 mg 0 0.01 mg so if you will be converting that into the grams so you know you have to divide by 100 by 1000 this is 0 0.01 means 1 upon 100 mg 1 upon 100 mg you can write and weight of empty bag is also given weight of empty bag is 600 point that is 50 gram 50 gram so what you have to find is weight of bag plus weight of sheets in that bag so now you just focus upon your units here it is given 600.50 gram and weight of 100 sheets weight of one sheet is equal to what 1 upon uh, 100 mg 
सो यू नो देर आर थाउजेंड मिलीग्राम्स इन वन ग्राम थाउजेंड मिलीग्राम्स इन वन ग्राम सो यू नीड टू कन्वर्ट द वेट ऑफ हंड्रेड शीट्स इन ग्राम सो दैट विल बी कमिंग समवेयर इज इक्वल टू योर पॉइंट जीरो 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 वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो राइट इन वन अपॉन थाउजेंड ग्राम वेट ऑफ हंड्रेड शीट इन ग्राम इक्वल टू वन अपॉन थाउजेंड ग्राम एंड इन दैट वे इट विल बी कमिंग समवेयर सिक्स जीरो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो प्लस पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन एंड दैट टोटल यूनिट नाउ आई हैव कन्वर्टेड इन टू ग्राम सो आंसर विल बी सिक्स हंड्रेड पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वन ग्राम सिक्स जीरो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वन ग्राम सो रिमेम्बर वन ग्राम इज इक्वल टू वॉट थाउजेंड milligrams that is what i have used here how many sheets are there rate of one sheet is 100 uh one upon 100 mg so there are 100 sheets so you will multiply that one upon 100 into 100 that will be equal to 1 mg and 1 mg in gram will be equal to 1 upon 1000 gram and then it will be equal to 0.001 gram so that is understood also when the weight of empty bag is 600.50 With sheets, the weight will be more than that of 600.50 because I was uh, going through the key. Even in your book, it is written somewhere 60 point something, which is wrong at last in your key. You please uh, pay attention to that part. That cannot be 60 point. You can understand if the bag of uh, weight of empty bag is 600.50, then with sheets, weight will be more, not less. so that is given in grams that's why i have converted into grams so that's all about your this chapter of um, exponent and powers so by the next time we will start the revision from your blueprint point of view with the same topic that is the end of your syllabus also for your midterm examination thank you have a nice